Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my in the Shidaku vlog where your friend is around. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to my blog. It's your girl Maggie and I understand it's been long since I last uploaded a video and yeah, I've been up and down on some other things of which I'll be sharing with you guys in my other videos that will be coming up this week that is. So today I'll be showing you a bed sitter at a studio apartment that is just along the, du the Deca Super Highway just in Georgia. So if you are that student who is willing to join uh, those universities or you are just that person who is looking for a good house to be accommodated in keep watching to the end of this video for you to know the amount and the good deals in this house of which it can come along with a bed and also a mattress if you get to request in the management okay if you want to request with the management that is they can get to organize on how you will get a bed and also a mattress i wish that's a good deal and yeah so keep watching till the end of this video for you to know each and every detail about the house and yeah. <laughs> so let's get into it. So for today we are going to start with the room 126 that is and as you can see the environment is so conducive for that person who is looking for a very quiet place. Either you are a student or either you are a working person, whichever the case, you have a very conducive place for you to stay in. And so let's start. From here, we have the cutting road box on that side that gets to run from that side to the other side. And as you can see, the, the ceiling, it looks so cute. And we have a very huge window that gets to penetrate enough light into this room. And as you can see, just look at it. It's so bright. Hmm? You don't even need to use electricity during the day <laughs> and uh, guys as i was telling you this is the bed that comes in with this room of which the bed you can decide either you want the bed and the mattress together that one can be sorted out and here as you can see the bed can at least accommodate you in a very well manner way and yeah Let's come to the floor. As you can see, the floor is well done. The tiles are well installed. Yeah. The tiles are well, well, well installed. And they are so easy for you to clean. <laughs> so, when you are no gopanga, kuosha tiles, or it can whatever, whatever. Like me, I'm that one person who dislikes white tiles because you have to wash now and then. So, let's get to the wardrobe. Of which there's the wardrobe this wardrobe can help you to fold as many clothes as you want at least for two people as you can see from there up to there you can fold as many clothes as you want up to there <laughs> and still down there you can get either to put your shoes and if you don't want to put your shoes there maybe you have a shoe rack you can put uh like the gazettes and whatever and then you get to fold more clothes from that side of which okay that's so fair enough as you can see on this side we have that rod that you can get to hang your own clothes and above there, you have more and more space on that side. Tell me where you can get to have such a very beautiful house. Here in Georgia, it's so good. As long as it has such uh, wardrobes, because at times you get those wardrobes that are open and you can get to have that privacy. At least this one. You can see, you can put your own stuff and then you and you are done. On the other side, you're being given a studying table. If that is your student, you can just request for you to be given a studying table, of which will come later with a chair if you want that is. Nothing much about that. And let's go to the other side, of which is the kitchen part. The kitchen 
kitchen area gets to give you enough enough storage space for a bed sitter okay to me that is i guess it's enough you can get to put your own stuff there downwards and you get to arrange them in a very wonderful way for them to fit in the countertop it's a bit small but you can get to put your own dishes here your dish rack and you just arrange your own things there <laughs> and for the top super amazing and if you don't know the water is 24 7 there is no day that tutapata maji hakuna the water is 24 7 and up there we have more storage space for the kitchen area of which guys guys tell me <laughs> and guess what you can also get to request the management for them to have an extension for the cabinet that is for an extra uh, storage area here of which there is no problem about that also before i forget they can get to put a mirror here or here if you request in the office they can get to put a mirror where you can be looking at yourself when maybe you are wearing your clothes whatever yeah Let's get to the other part where is the washroom. We have the heater. We have it there. Nothing much about the washroom, that is. Nothing much actually. But at least it's a bit uh, spacious for you to be washing your own things, to do your cleaning. Yeah, I don't think there's something so special about the <laughs> the washroom apart from taking a shower washing our own clothes and i guess that's enough but if you don't want to, you don't want to use the washroom to wash your clothes i'll show you at the uh, upper floor where people get to do their own laundry and yeah in a few i'll be showing you Till I get up, time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow so guys like i was telling you uh that's the laundry area and you don't have to struggle like where are you going to hang your clothes or just get to wash your clothes everything is just sorted and it's two sided sided this side and the other side also and water is free tell me where you can get to uh get such a good deal don't worry the way i'm panting it's because <laughs> i've been in my panda had the fifth floor of which yeah, the building is up to the fifth floor and if you're interested, just get to inbox me or just get to call me. And so guys, if you're interested, the rent is only 7,000 Kenyan shillings and ground floor is 6,000 Kenyan shillings, of which I guess it's a fair price when you get to measure like it's coming with a bed and maybe a mattress, such things. Or also, at least it's very affordable, so I don't get to think it's a like a uh a 50 50 way but it's a good deal and uh, with all that in case you're interested i'm just going to leave down below my number where you can get to communicate with me and you get to tell me hey maggie i want a house or something of the sort and guess what i guess because i've been getting a lot of calls i should open a platform or just somewhere where i can be searching houses for personal people who get to contact me and maybe we'll discuss in a good way or in a good price man <laughs> but yeah i don't have any problem when someone gets to request or ask me i get to uh such a good house for them i have no problem with that and with all that we come to the end of the vlog i hope you enjoyed till next time bye